We're in the lobby of the hospital. You're a child life specialist. What's your name? Yes, Jamie Wolf. Now tell me about these little things here, these dolls. I saw it. I thought, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of our um, medical play dolls, our teaching dolls. And Andy right here is prepared right now to have an NG tube placed. So what we would do is have the kids um, kind of familiarize themselves with the medical equipment. This is an NG tube. They could place the lubricant on it. And actually, this can be placed inside Andy's nose. And we teach the child how it is placed, what Andy's role is, to swallow, to hold still. And then the child can see firsthand where it goes on the child, on Andy's body. This helps for school agers who really have that concrete thinking of what's going to be happening. Um, yeah, because they allows- get... They're afraid of something. They just really want to know what's going to happen. Exactly. Um, so this kind of place and allows them to see firsthand how the NG tube is going to be placed down to their stomach. Um, we also have this set up. Andy can have a pick line that we have right here, and it, again, shows firsthand how the exterior is going to be that the child will see and how it's connected to their bodies. To oh, their wow. Um, and this is a big part of child life and us being able to educate kids and prepare them not only for procedures, um, but for diagnoses. And so we have a variety of teaching dolls that can help kids understand why they're here in the hospital, clear up any misconceptions, and help them kind of master and have control over what's how going expen- on. Do you know how expensive a doll like this is? This is over $1,500. Um, Andy is specifically set up to do a pick line, an IV, and also an NG2. So each one of these adapting things are over $300. So this is a very expensive tool, but it's essential in a child's understanding and coping of being in the hospital. So we love to make sure we have enough of these for kids to be able to um, do medical play and understand the procedure. And then Andy is on top of one of our... One of our most popular items, this is a mobile game system. This right here is um, an Xbox 360, and it can be brought into the patient's room. They can place their games in there, and this is an opportunity for them to do something that they would have at home. Like I said before, it goes room to room, um, so it really allows kids to have something that they're familiar with and something they look forward to doing um, here in the hospital. That's our main goal is to make sure kids still get to be kids while they're here.